when we think about confronting hard history, I think there are a couple reasons why we refuse to, and, and, and these are important. Uh, and those reasons are very much connected to the various groups that we're talking about. So African Americans, for example, have a reluctance to confront hard history, especially within the classroom, for reasons that are different than your average white person. So let's talk about slavery or let's talk about lynching or Jim Crow. And you'll find that, you know, black students, K through 12, even in college in my classrooms, they're like, eh, I don't really know about, you know, I don't really, I'm not really feeling talking about this. Why? Because it's been done so poorly for so long. And so there is this pushback, like, you know, this is traumatizing the way this has been taught. I don't want to deal with it. Now that's different than, you know, your average white student who encounters this and it's like, well, what, what, what are you talking about? What did my grandmother do? Or what are you saying my grandfather did? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't want to deal with it. Now, that's a different hesitancy. It's coming from a different place. It's not because they've been traumatized. It's because it's disrupting their understanding of the past in a very personal way. So those are two very different reasons why people in America would be reluctant to deal with hard history. But in the end, nobody's dealing with the truth of the past, the reality of the past. And so then you say, okay, well, well, what can we do? What can we do about it? 